Hi there. Today, one more in line of life principles or principles to live by, to be in sync with yourself. You are not your thoughts. Seems rather obvious, doesn't it? So why are we talking about it? Because most of the people living today on this planet called Earth identify with their thoughts, identify with their mind. It is so-called mass madness. And it's not the first one in the history of human humankind. Humankind is full of events that are caused and perpetuated by mass madness. And this mass madness comes out of total sheer ignorance. We just do not know. And we act on false premises. So what are we talking about when we talk about you are not your thoughts? What is, what is this life principle about? It's about being able to separate between mind and soul. Being able to make a difference between mind and soul. Mind is not soul. Mind is thoughts. Mind is he to think with, to produce thoughts. Mind is an appliance for thinking. Like we have lungs for breathing, we have a house to live in, we have a car to drive around, we have eyes to look outside with, ears to hear the things outside us, and so on, and so on, and so on. We have the mind to think, to produce thoughts, and we are not that mind. So talking about the obvious again, is it? And yet, when your mind says this, I am this body, I am this name, profession, nationality, I'm sad, I'm, I'm, I'm joyous, I'm successful, I'm bored. What is all this about? You're identifying with your thoughts. All these that I was talking about now, all these are just thoughts. So instead of saying, I have this body, I have these thoughts about being successful, about being jealous, about being miserable, about being joyous, about being happy, it is not me, it is what I have. You see the big difference? Acting out of as this is me or, or these are just the thoughts that I have. If I know that all these are just the thoughts that I have, I do not take them seriously. Some of them are helpful, some of them are not. Some of them are sort of useful, some of them are not. Most of them are not. Have you ever met a person who just talks non-stop? This is a person who cannot control their mind. They just open their mouth and whatever is in their mind, all the rubbish and everything, all the thoughts is coming through like a diarrhea. So that is that. That is the mind. That is the mind working all the time, non-stop, all the thoughts coming through. And when you just let them out, when you just open your mouth and you do not control them, this is it. A diarrhea. This is your mind. These are the thoughts. And then you even live in this sort of an illusion or, or um, a horrible sort of uh, ignorance that this is you, that everything that comes out in a way of a thought, whether that's a, a, a thought or whether that's a visual thing, it's, 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 that it's you. It's, it's such a horrible mistake. This is not you. You need to make a, a distinction between the thoughts, the mind, and you, the soul. You are the soul. You're the source of all this. You as a soul has the mind that was created to think, to create thoughts. And thoughts are used to try to sort of navigate the survival of this world of physical experience. That's all there is. It's nothing else to it. You are not the thoughts. You are not the mind. You are the soul. And the soul has power to control the minds, to control the thoughts, not to be controlled by them, which is the situation in which we find ourselves in. In this world, 
that we experience in this physical experience that we have. It is very, very sad that this is the state of affairs in which we live in. It is very sad because it leads to so many wrong actions, so many wrong attitudes, so many wrong ideas about what life is, what, what this world is, what this body is, what, what this is all about. It leads to such a huge misunderstanding about life and everything else there is. Leads, it leads to such a horribly limited experience that just sort of limits you really to this one tiny little bit of time between birth and death and, and, and everything else that is squeezed into it and limited by, by the thoughts and limited by the body in which, which you experience yourself. It is such a horrible misunderstanding, such a horrible ignorance that we are so unwilling to sort of let go of. We are so unwilling to open up the horizons, look a bit elsewhere, try and, and explore some other levels of consciousness instead of just focusing on this lowest level of physical experience that is run by the force, that is run by the mind. We should not let it happen like that. We should not do it because all we do is making ourselves miserable, making ourselves struggle most of the time, making this world, this physical experience that we have such a miserable and more and more miserable place to live in. It is all such a, just a, a consequence of complete ignorance, of, of just a complete misunderstanding of what is going on. So yes, you are not your thoughts, you are not your mind. Make a difference between a mind and a soul. I mean, acknowledge the difference. It could, they could not be more different. The soul is the creator. The soul is the source. And the mind is, is just an, an appliance or, if you want, a, a computer or a machine that we have to produce thoughts because thoughts are very useful when we are in control of them. And thoughts are very, very harmful when we are not in control of them. And today we live in a world when we are not in control of our thoughts. And that's how it is. You are not your thoughts. You are not your mind. You are not this body. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.